get up on top. Oh, I was hoping to land right on that little piece. Hello and welcome to another episode of Craft Away with me, Bully Bait. We are here in the community area again. Yay! It's been a little while since we've been here, but we uh, we are coming back just for today. I think I want to go over to the plot picker and use this thing. Um, <laughs> I haven't been over here and used it since I built it. Uh, let's go ahead and, uh, pick one. I want a residential plot, I believe. Uh, I just want to build a little house. Let's grab a blue one, and that's going to make this thing ding over here, and it's going to give us a blue plot marker. And we can just come over here, place in the plot that we chose, and after some time, it's going to make some dingy sounds, and this light will light up. And then this will stick, pop out. There we go. And that means we got our plot. So we have uh, C4B25485. So 4B C. Oh, it's. No, it's C4 is the thing. And then B is the plot color. So blue. And it's going to be in here somewhere. So that's pretty much a lot of the blue plots. Um, that makes perfect sense. Do we want an augment? How about we get it and we check it out just to see what it's going to do. What it gives us. Burned down. Ooh. All right. So that's interesting. We got to put that back in there. We're going to have to grab a... Um, check. We need to add some more stuff to this. If you guys have any suggestions for like different things that can change uh, a build up, so like we have burned down, overgrown, Nordic, uh, add a shop, draw two, which would be pick two of these, Elvin. Um, we need Nordic back in here and a couple of other things. Uh, let's head out and find our plot. It is two fifty four eighty five. Can I, can I take off? Mm. 254.85, huh? Well, that's the wrong direction. So it's going to be over here somewhere, which really reduces the number of plots. So it's going to, it can be 254. Oh, this one. This plot right here. So it's right next to this house and the windmill. We kind of want it to match-ish with those. We got a hill here. It's raining, so that Enderman is upset. He is not happy. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and tear down this stuff. Um, well, maybe we'll leave it until the build's up, I guess. Well, take down these two at least. Um, and from here, we can just sort of start our build. Where do I want the entrance to this house to be? Um, I kind of feel like over here is a good spot for the door. So maybe on this side we'll have the door. And then there's this. Now, I believe these guys have been, when they work inside these plots, they've been sticking to the edges pretty good. But it's not, it wasn't really meant for that. These are just really like almost size and locational barriers for house. Um, so like even though this one here sh shares a barrier with this one here, it doesn't necessarily mean these houses are connected. It just means they're going to be really close together right here. Uh, so you might be able to sneak through there once the houses are built, but the houses might also touch. Also, this isn't really a real barrier. I mean, there's like a big space here between these houses. And if this house, uh, if whoever builds this one wanted to like 
build a little thing right here. That would be perfectly fine. They wanted to extend out this corner of the house all the way out to like here. That would be fine. It doesn't even matter. You know, just try to keep it to somewhere around this size of an area. You can stay within it. You can go over the edge a little bit. It's not set in stone. Um, but it's raining. Uh, I'm going to sleep, get rid of the rain, and we'll sort of start trying to figure out uh, a layout for this build. Okay, guys, welcome back, and we're we're doing pretty good. I got the foundation of the house in. It's sort of set down a little bit in the ground, just on this one side. Um, what I'm thinking is, is you'll be able to walk through like this. You'll have um, probably a room of some sort on this side, some form of room back in here, and then a set of stairs that go up to the next floor, um, which will have like two bedrooms i think um, up like this uh so this will have like a main hallway that goes through this direction right like through here like this and then two rooms one heading off this direction and one heading off this side of the of the hallway um i think that seems pretty good we might do one one more floor but it, it won't be a full size you can still sort of see the size of the plot. Uh, let's hop up real quick here. And um, you can sort of see what what we did with the plot shape. So it was just basically a little square right here, right? And uh, all I did was stick out a little on this side. And we're, we're in a little bit here. And we're in a little bit here. And it's right along that. But yeah. We're, we're we're within we're within our space here and it leaves it leaves a lot of space right here and what I what I wanted to do was um some more stuff to like bring this into more of an idea of a farm area right here um and maybe we can take care of like a landscaping bit in the next episode I just want to get this uh, house done for this one so let's get back to work and I will see you guys in a little bit Okay, guys. Oh, bring it. Okay, guys. Welcome back. And as you can see, I've gotten quite a bit done uh, to the house here. Uh, as you can see, we put in a foundation that goes all the way around the outside here, and I put in uh, the walls for the second floor. Um, I'm not quite sure really what I want to. Where else I want to go with this yet? Um, but but as you can see, there's like a little bit of a difference. Um, like, so here's where the edge of the uh, plot was. And you can see like I'm in a little bit here. The edge of the plot actually comes back inside this here. So uh, I've extended a little bit over the edge of the plot line uh, right here. And right here, it comes right up to the edge. Um, I do want to make an interior for this at some point. Um, but I'm not sure what really what I want to do. I know you need, like, when you think about a, a house, you need a couple of rooms. Obviously, this is like a um, downstairs area, and then there's like bedrooms uh, maybe up here. I'm thinking maybe stairs. Um, okay, spoke right here. Just throw down some stairs, something like this. And then, um, floor will be up here somewhere. Something like that. And then this could all be hallway. Um, but we need to finish the outside first. I want to put on some windows, and, um, it needs a roof, of course. And then we'll go through and, um, uh, and we can go through and decorate all that. Um, I'm taking some uh, hints from these guys around here. So, like, I'm going to probably put on the buttons uh, like they have here. Um, I believe this is Casey's house. And this one was done by Sunfire. So, Sunfire used... Um, mushroom blocks but you can't even get those kind of mushroom blocks anymore 
which is kind of good and kind of bad. I guess you can like build better mushrooms, but if you wanted to use the mushrooms for like anything else, uh, it wasn't going to do very well. Um, we're going to try to keep it in this space area here. I want to uh, maybe do some landscape. We'll do that in an episode uh, later on. But right now, I want to get get on. done check it out behind us here we got the this cool house i went ahead and put on some of these uh like flower boxes a little bit around the house here and there um got all the windows done i think it looks really good guys um it kind of sort of fits in with town i think this house is a little bit more um cleaner than some of these like these houses look a little bit more aged and have some more variation in them than mine does uh, but that'll work uh, we'll work that out as we kind of like fix the um, the landscaping and stuff. I'll add uh, bushes and leaves and things like that. Some variation in this cobblestone needs to happen. I need to add some variation to, uh, to these spruce spruce planks here and there. There's not really a whole lot of them. I'm thinking I'll just probably add some uh, some stairs here and there. Um, maybe like one here. And um, just wherever you can find like a little spot that just seems like it's okay. I tried um, I tried using some stripped logs in here to see if that would uh, match, but the spruce logs, um, the spruce stripped logs, in uh, at least in this texture pack, have a little bit of a difference to them. I'm not sure if they've actually been. Um, adjusted in the texture pack or not i'm not sure if i can do one here because when you put one of these next to the stairs let's see if we uh next to the fences i mean if you put this in here see how the fences stop um connecting and there's not really any way i can fix that let's grab that block there and then um yeah, I don't think I can put any on this one. Did I get to the the roof? Oh, I'm out of pearls. Um, the next thing I want to do is work on the interior. But as you can see, I went ahead and put in a bunch of walls. You guys probably saw that in the time lapse. Um, but there's no furniture in here. And I think I'd, I'd like to add some. Um, there's quite a bit of space in this house. It's fairly big. What is that? That's a stair. That can't go there. You'll have a hole in the wall. Um, let's take out that one instead. Hmm. There we go. Um, but yeah, this area is looking pretty good. Uh, we got the upstairs attic, the 
Our double doors are mixed up right now. They don't uh, work all that great. I think I had some bug. Uh, that's pretty common right now. This area, I think, is just going to be like an attic closet area. So we'll just put a bunch of um, crates and things up here just for storage type stuff. And um, I want to turn these into bedrooms. This is just going to be some hallway, bedroom, bedroom. Down here, we'll have maybe a kitchen in the back here and some sort of living space out here. I think that'll be good. Um, I think the house came out pretty good, guys. Uh, let's go ahead and work on that interior. I gotta go and get a ton more materials. Uh, interiors take all kinds of stuff. And then we'll, uh, we'll get back to work. Okay, guys, we're back. We're back, and we're flying around over top of the town here. But we are all done with our house. We're going to fly over and take a look at it right now. Loop around on top of the road. Okay, here we are in front of the house. As you can see, there's all kinds of awesome stuff. Point the camera in the right direction, and we'll be all set. Okay, all kinds of awesome stuff. I went through and bone mealed the ground a little bit just to give it some grass. Um... You can see we put, added uh, some like logs back here. This is just so like where the house keeps their wood for their fire. Just give them a place to keep it. Um, hey, there's no flowers up here. Um, that's fine. We'll have to add some later. Go through and check out all this area. I went and put in. Um, I varied some the texture. You guys saw me put in the. Um, the stairs here, but I went through and put in a bunch of andesite around the bottom, and that makes the bottom look really good. Um, we added in some flowers and some things, and now let's go check the inside because that's where I've done pretty much all of the work. I mean, I added some leaves and things. Um, I did pretty much all of the work. We did a full interior on the house, so we have a we have an awesome little kitchen in here. It's just nothing super spectacular, just some. Some kitchen. I always uh, put these things around because they kind of look like like ribs. I mean, it's supposed to be uh, flesh and it's supposed to be rotten. So I mean, it it's not in this kitchen anyway. It's probably not supposed to be rotten, but it looks like ribs and it looks like it could it could work in here. Uh, I think the kitchen came out all right. I wonder what these um, uh, paintings are like in a regular texture pack. Uh, this room, I added a little bit of carpet. There's a plant, some bookcases. We've got a little bench over here and a little chair over on this side. A um, little, like, almost curtain type thing right there. And uh, added a little bit of painting. we got the closet in the back here with a crafting table. And some stuff in there. Um... Got an armor stand and some stuff behind the stairs there. Here's the two bedrooms. We got a little cyan bed. This is like a boy's room, I guess. Girl's room. Don't uh, don't assume anyone's gender. Oh, wait, there's a uh, thing here. Let's um fix this. Crafting table right here. Need through stairs. Stick in the spot. There you go. And that's going to be the closet for that room. And then we have the area out here. Here's the balcony. It's not super huge or anything. But it's got a decent view. I'll have a better view later. Um, here's the bedroom. The master bedroom, I guess. There's not really anything on the walls in here. Rocket on. Doesn't really matter. <laughs> it's just a little bit of decoration. Um... I don't really have anything else that I can put in there. Uh, but that room looks pretty good. Now let's go up the stairs. All right, so this is like a storage room area. This closet is empty because the doors take up those blocks. Um, but yeah, just threw some storage stuff in here. Just some crates, um, chests, crafting table, bookcases, uh, that kind of thing. Just to give it some clutter. And I think it came out pretty good up here. I think the whole house looks really good. Um, 
yeah. Everything looks really good. I'm happy with it. I definitely want to redo um, some of the exterior area here. Uh, let's go ahead and give it a fly real quick. Um, let's get up on top. Oh, I was hoping to land right on that little piece, but apparently it didn't work. Um, where can we stand? Right here is probably good. Go around this corner. So yeah, I really want to like redo this area here, but I think uh, this house fits in town a little bit. I probably could um, change up some of the edging around the roof, and that would make it like fit in a little bit more. But uh, I think the like like this house here has like the edging, and this one has that stone brick on the edge, that kind of thing. I could add that, and that would sort of fit it into the house a little bit. But I think uh, I think everything came out all right. Let's um. Look on this side here. We need, we definitely re need, to, uh, need to redo this area. Um, I've been putting in trees in town a little bit, you know, back in that area, and how I how I decide where I'm gonna where I'm gonna put it in is basically areas that I think are complete. So this one is almost done. I gotta uh, do some just some things here to make this feel like more of a. Uh, uh, like a, a farm area. Uh, I want that house done, and then I'll put some trees in this area. I mean, it's a farmland, so we're not going to cover it entirely with trees, but um, there may be a couple over in here, um, maybe one over there, one over here, one on this side, and then this area will all be farmland, maybe one tree, right? Right over here or something. Um, could also put a couple on that edge, just sort of get it around um, on this side when we get this house done and that house done I want to redo this whole forest but we got to like come back here and do all kinds of stuff um, there's tons of things for this town that we really 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 need to get to work on um, but it's too much for today so I will see you guys in the next episode if you enjoyed this video hit that like button and if you subscribe I will love you forever. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.